Hi, this is Laura Sand Houston, the Visible Body Education Team Trainer. And now I'm talking about editing quizzes, editing quiz questions, and creating new questions within the Visible Body Graded Quizzing app. So let's get started on that. So say you've already created a quiz, say from last semester, but you'd just like to mix it up a little bit. You'd like to change it a little bit. So what we'll do is go to the quiz bank. Again, the quiz bank with Invisible Body gives you quizzes, actual quizzes, pre-made up quizzes, either Visible Body has made up or you have made up or your colleagues at your school have made up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find the quiz that I want to edit. So I can filter by my name to find quizzes that I've already made up. So let's grab one of these thorax quizzes and we'll click on edit. I can edit this quiz because I created it. We'll see in a minute that I cannot directly edit quizzes that Visible Body has made up because we want those quizzes to stay as they are. But since I made up this quiz, I can edit it myself. It's my quiz. So I may want to say spring semester. I may want to change the quiz name. I may want to change any of these categories. But now I see here, here are the questions that I have in here. And I've pulled the questions. I've pulled, I've drawn 10 out of 30 code questions for this quiz. Well, I can change this. I can, I can just give the students 30 questions, or maybe I want to give them 20 questions. So I'm going to delete 10 questions. And the way I do that is I just take them out. When I'm done, I just save it. And now I have a quiz. That's just the way I want it. I can also add questions to the quiz. So let's take the dissection quiz. Again, this is a quiz that I've created so I can change it in any way that I want. Actually, I think we've put all the questions in here that, that are from uh, the thorax. So we're gonna click down here on add more questions. What if I want to add some questions uh, on, on uh, let's see, we'll, We'll add some muscle system questions for the upper limbs. So these might not have been in the quiz. So I'm gonna add these five. And I see here they are in my quiz. So I just save it. And here's, here's the quiz. So when editing quizzes, your choices are to add questions, delete questions, or add and delete questions, or change the configuration. Now, what if I want to just change a quiz that Visible Body has created? Well, let's go to the Visible Body quizzes. We'll find one, uh, let's find the multiple choice. Let's find the heart quiz that we used before. In this case, you see that I don't have the option to, 
to edit it because we want these available for everybody to use. However, I can clone the quiz and save it. And I think that I will call it And here it is. And again, if I filter by my name, I see that it comes up here. So now that I've cloned it and it's my quiz, now I do have the opportunity to edit it. And I can put in another name. I can configure it any way that I want. I can pull it if I'd like. I can add questions or take out questions just the same way we did with the other quiz and save it. Okay, so that's how to edit quizzes that are already made up. What if I want to edit quiz questions? Well, why might you want to do that? You might want to do that because you might want to give students credit in a dissection quiz, for example, for choosing something that's um, maybe not quite so specific. So we can go to the question bank. We can filter by visible body. And again, because we want to leave these questions as they are, we can clone a question. So let's clone it. The prompt for the question is as is, but we can change that if we want. We can change the 3D view. What you really might want to change, however, is what is counted as correct. So in this case, the interventricular septum is counted as correct. You may want to choose something else besides that that's that's correct. So you may want to change, you may want to go up a level and have kind of everything be correct um, or anything else that you want to do. So again, you just categorize the question and you save it. You can add it to the quiz or you can just save it. Now, you might want to make a completely new question. So you can choose a multiple choice, a short answer or dissection question. Most of the structures, if not all of the structures, already have quiz questions attached to them. So if anything, you would probably want to make up a multiple choice question. I'll ask my question. I can include an image if I want. Here's the correct answer. Here are some distractors. I'm going to categorize my question. Uh, I think that this is going to be the digestive system, actually. Let's save it. And here's my question, and it's available to be put into a quiz uh, as, as needed. Thank you very much. This is the end of the graded quizzing training. And if you have any questions, please email me at laura, L-O-R-A dot Sandhusen, S-A-N-D-H-U-S-E-N at visiblebody.com. Thanks and have a great day.